Let me illustrate how one can use LaTeX to quickly put a document together. So one starts by going to the wizard here in Tech Studio. And you say, okay, let's do a quick start. And what we're going to want to do is create an article. We'll use a 10 point type set. Eh, let's make it 50, uh, 12. Uh, that's normal size paper, I guess. And I'm not entirely sure what this encoding means. Uh, AMS packages are the American Mathematical Society packages, so that's good for typesetting. And graphics, eh, we might need that, who knows. And for the rest, hmm, we probably don't need a whole lot of this stuff, but these are other packages that one can incorporate. So then you say, okay. And over here, we end up with a simple article. Notice that it already filled in my name. And if you now want to typeset this, uh, you could even add a title and say, my first uh, LaTeX document. And then here in the document itself, between the begin document and end document, we could say backslash make title. And then if one hits this uh, compile button, this green button built in view, what do we get on the right here? Oh, something that's way too big to view. So let's make it a little smaller. And bingo, there we have my first LaTeX document. Now you may have noticed that LaTeX is often types it in kind of a funny way. If you do a backslash, that makes it a keyword and the B keyword backslash LaTeX, capital L, capital T, capital X is a special uh, command. But what you notice now is that there's no space between the X and the D and the way you can put that X, that space back in is by putting another backslash at the end of the backslash LaTeX. And bingo, there we have it. Of course, for me, this is not my first LaTeX document, but for you, it might be. Let's typeset this, uh, let's put this all the way here and you could have different sections. So you could say, let's, uh, let's put in an abstract. And notice that it automatically comes in with a backslash end abstract. And then here we could say, this is where the abstract goes, period. And then if you hit the compile button, you get the abstract and then we might have a first section that might be backslash section introduction and you get a section that starts with introduction well that didn't do spell checking too well so we'll do that and then we could have a subsection first subsection second subsection And you start getting the idea that if you don't hit this again, there you go. Now, when you're first starting out with LaTeX, it's a good idea to compile frequently because if you make a small mistake, you might have a rough time finding where that mistake is. So now let's uh, show how we can typeset some mathematics. If you want to typeset mathematics all by itself, you can do that as such. You can say, uh, let's do the integral from x equals zero to from zero to uh, five of x squared dx. And if you hit that, you notice that this gets typeset very nicely. And then if, of course, we're going to be doing a lot of uh, linear algebra, so you may want to say, okay, let's do a matrix. We may want to do backslash back left. Uh, you may want to and that with a right, so we can click on that. Now you have the parentheses, and then you can put in an array, begin array, where we may want to center each column, and you may want to do minus one, three, two, with a minus three, zero, one, and array, Right parenthesis, oops, the right parenthesis was in there already. And again, if you hit that button, then you get that. Now you can have this in a line as well. You can say we can inline this and that you do by putting it between dollar signs instead.
anyway that's how it goes you can put in bulleted uh, lists uh, by saying begin itemize and then you get an end itemize and then you can put in each item first item second item and you get that or we can enumerate it you can say instead enumerate and then we'll have to fix this and say enumerate and again if we do that we get an enumerated list I suggest that you go ahead and do some tutorials on how to use LaTeX and then you're all set for this course we're actually not going to use LaTeX much until well if you choose to you can start as early as week one but most likely you're not going to really need it until week four and if you absolutely must you can probably get through the whole course without it altogether